Hey everyone, it's great to see you again. You know, it's really hard to believe something if you've never seen it before. This week, I learned about an ancient primate. Well, a primate is like a monkey. It was so small, it was only the size of a man's thumb, even adult thumb. And I couldn't believe it. Or, well, it was hard to believe because I hadn't seen any monkey that small before. Have you ever heard of something you had a hard time believing before you saw it? Was it something you read about? Or maybe it's something that someone told you about. I feel like the Bible has a lot of stories that are hard to believe. Well, because they're about miracles. Which, well, I've never seen before. After Jesus rose from the dead, there was a disciple whose name was Thomas. He heard the stories about Jesus being alive, but had a hard time believing it. Well, let's read today's story and see what happens next for Thomas. Here we go! Today's story is from John 20, 19 through 31. Later on the day that Jesus came back to life, the disciples had got together, but because they were afraid they might be accused of a crime, had locked all the doors in the house. Jesus entered and stood among them and said, Peace be to you. Then he showed them his hands and his side. Well, the disciples, seeing Jesus with their own eyes, they were amazed. Jesus said, Hello again. Peace to you. Just as the Father sent me, I will send you to tell people good news. Then he took a deep breath and breathed over them, blowing like a wind. I want you to get this gift of the Holy Spirit, he said. If you forgive someone's sins, they're going to be gone for good. But Thomas, sometimes called the twin, one of the twelve disciples, he wasn't with them when Jesus came. Later, the other disciples told him, We saw Jesus. But Thomas said, Unless I see the nail holes in his hands, or put my finger in the nail holes, or stick my hand into his side, I'm not going to believe it. How could I? It had to have been someone else, not Jesus. Eight days later, his disciples were together again. This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came in, even though the doors were locked, and he was standing with them, and said, Peace be with you. Then Jesus spoke to Thomas, Take your finger, and feel my hands, and take your hand, and touch my side. Don't have your doubt stay with you, Thomas, and believe. Thomas said, My teacher, my God. Jesus said, So you believe, because you've seen with your own eyes. It's going to be even better, and better things are waiting for lots of people who will believe without seeing. Jesus provided far more God-revealing signs that are written down, but not in this book. These are written down so you will believe that Jesus is a rescuer, the Son of God. And when you believe, you really do have eternal life that Jesus showed us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow! I wonder what Jesus' resurrection body was like. He got into the disciples' house even though the doors were locked? I don't think my body would have done that. Do you? <laughs> no. Do you think you would have been like Thomas and had a hard time believing his friends? I know I would have. Well, maybe I would have. Some of the disciples saw Jesus do some pretty amazing things, so maybe some of them believe that Jesus had risen from the dead a little faster than the others. But that's okay. Believing? Well, it doesn't look the same for each of us. Believing is so important to who we are as Christians. It's part of living a life of faith with Jesus. And it's something we never stop practicing and getting better at. Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit and stays with us always. That's something we believe. Every day, I get to know a little bit more that Jesus loves me and helps me. Some days, I learn more about that than other days. And so my belief gets stronger all the time. Sometimes there's setbacks, which just means sometimes there's bumps. Sometimes there's days I don't believe as well as I did the previous day. 
But I know that I believe in a God who believes in me and knows that he loves me enough to die and raise from the dead so I can have life forever with him and love others. Now that is a big promise to believe. What do you think? Yeah, wonderful. Well, let's pray together, okay? Bow our heads, close our eyes. Dear Jesus, help us when we don't have strong belief. Help us to believe you. Help us to know and to feel and know that you're here with us, that you forgive us our sins and you forgive our mistakes and love us even in the bad places when we're not doing so well and when we don't believe very strong. Help us to grow in our belief. Help us to trust you to help us to love others and love you. We pray this in your great and wonderful raised from the dead, alive forever, through the Holy Spirit and God the Father. Amen. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope you have a good week, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye! <laughs>